good and be happy always. Once again, welcome to the class of economics in Shachi's Academy, where we discuss various topics with very simple tips and easy keywords. You can watch this video in the description given below and the given link. Okay, so the topic for today's discussion is consumption goods and capital goods. Consumption goods and capital goods is very important from the point of view of short answer type questions and MCQs as well. And it comes under the classification of goods. We have already discussed intermediate and final goods. And now under the classification of goods, we will discuss consumption goods and capital goods. Consumption goods. As the name suggests, consumption, it comes from consumer. The goods used by consumer are known as consumption goods. And they are of four types and why do cons consumers use goods they use goods for satisfaction of their needs and wants so the people like us we purchase various items like toothpaste brush lpg scooter car fridge fruits veggies etc to consume so all these goods come under the category of consumption goods and which satisfy our human wants so we will discuss their types now Okay, so types of consumption goods are your durable goods, semi-durable goods, non-durable goods and services. First, the durable goods. Durable goods are those goods which can be used for a long period of time, maybe for 10 years or more. For example, we use car, we use scooter, refrigerator, television, etc. for more than 5 to 10 years. So they are durable, they can be used for long. Next comes our semi-durable goods. Goods which can be used for one year or slightly more like our furniture maybe say some type of stools and etc or the clothes you can say or the irons uh, iron we use for pressing our clothes or ironing our clothes that we have crockery at our homes or the things like that which do not last for more than one year or slightly more than one year right so these are semi-durable goods. Then we have non-durable goods, non-durable, which do not last for long. Or single-use goods like toothpaste, LPG, fruits, veggies, eatables of all types do not last for long. Or they are single-use. Bread, butter, when we have had them, when we eat them, they vanish. So they are gone in single-use. So they are known as non-durable or single-use goods. Then we have services. Services like that of doctor, we go to doctor when we, are, we fall ill, then we go to a lawyer in case of some legal advice or some case, uh, type of case and other type of services like services of our housemaid or the servants or peons etc. They are the services we consume or the services of a teacher. These are services. So goods fall under four category. Four category that is consumption goods. For, uh, fall under four category that is durable, semi-durable, non-durable and services, right? Then we come to our capital goods. Capital goods are the goods like plant and machinery. Who should use them? The people who produce or producers. So capital goods are the goods which are used by producer of goods and services and they are purchased by them only and they are used to produce goods and services to gain profit right when we consume consumption goods we gain satisfaction but when capital goods are used they produce goods and services they can be sold in market and profit can be earned from them right so they are used for production only and not for consumption of any type so we have here the criteria of a capital good what is the criteria they are used for production only right they are not used for consumption so things which are used to make goods and services like a big oven in a bakery it's a capital good or a printing machine in your printing your publishing house that is known as your capital good or you can say tractors harvesters stretchers used in, used by farmers in farms or fields to produce grains they are known as capital goods and they can't be consumed directly for satisfaction of wants then they are used for many years. They are durable. They can be used for 10, 20 or more than that. Just like railways, coaches and engines. They last for more than 30, 40 years also. Then they are of high value. See, you have to invest a lot of money to buy a capital good. Because they are used for 
production of goods and services so they are of high value for example nuts bolts screws they are also used in machines and they are can be used for more than one year or more than 10 years but the thing is they are not of high value so they are not capital goods so nuts and bolts are not capital goods it comes in if it comes in mcqs it's not a capital good then we use or we purchase capital good for what to replace and add why do we replace our machines when they become old when machines become old they cannot be used for production so we replace them or buy new machines in place of them so the capital goods which are purchased to replace the old machines are known as capital goods for replacement next we also buy capital goods to add add means add to the existing stock like we have four machines in our plant suppose we are a producer of laptops or some other goods and biscuits or something like that so we have four machines in our plant and we want to expand our production or increase the production of goods and services so we will buy some new machines if we buy four new machines then this is known as addition this four new machine is addition to our existing capital stock so we buy capital goods for replacing old machines and adding to the existing stock of capital goods right so we have studied consumption goods and our capital goods consumption goods are used by consumers for satisfaction of their needs and wants and there are four types durable semi durable non durable and services capital goods are used by producers for production of goods and services to gain profit or to earn profit they are of they are of high value they are used for production and they are used for many years and they are bought or they are purchased by producers to replace old machines or add to their existing capital stock i hope you understood this topic if you have any comments and queries any questions you can forward them to us and please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed that till now so that you can get future updates for that and press the bell icon for future updates thank you so much